Hello friends, welcome back to Jazz Creates. I'm Jasmine and we are in Cape Freedom. This is episode six. And in this episode, I work on expanding basically every area of the city. But my main focus is this entertainment district in the city center. I just love how it's turned out. And I believe I add trolleys in this or trams trolleys maybe i can't remember honestly but <laughs> i also work on adding um this new parking area and this is using the old trick of creating um these little mini parking lots from the green cities dlc there's like a little um EV station and it looks like a parking lot so that's what I've done as well and then I also add in a new metro station across the way from our city center this area is kind of our blue collar district um, and it's partly industrial and then it's also partly uh, mid-sized office areas so I really really like how this area has grown and um, just how uh, how much different types of people and zones I have in this city. It's really coming along and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so we are starting off by moving some things around in this underhill district this is my main industrial zone and what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to remove some of this dirty industry that's really close to some of our residential areas and commercial areas and i'm going to convert that into offices so that's what you've seen in the beginning of the episode and that is what we are working towards so I'm gonna I'll be moving some things around and you'll kind of see me go back and forth between the Underhill district and the Lafayette Square over here which is where our main uh, entertainment area is so this area has our theater it has sports arenas it has um, the art gallery and there's gonna be so much more coming soon i can't wait for you guys to see it so i'm gonna stop talking and i'll see you in a few minutes
right, so moving on to Glade Park and East River, we have uh, a bit of a death wave going on. <laughs> so um, in the next uh, few minutes, I address those issues by placing some new cemeteries and also um, adding more money to my healthcare budget so that we can get uh, more um, uh, cemetery uh, hearses. I was going to say cemetery cars. <laughs> hearses and also our crematorium um, trucks that they can uh, be able to pick up people faster and also um, just making sure that our cemeteries uh, are emptying out so for me personally I like having cemeteries um, once you reach a certain point in the game and you have crematoriums available, you can um, empty out your cemeteries and only have crematoriums. But for the purpose of city building, I like actually having the cemetery asset all throughout the city because, you know, that is that's what happens in real life. You have multiple um, cemeteries all across one area. So... I personally like them, but that is just a, a preference. Um, of course, you know, you can do whatever you want when you're playing this game. But uh, but yeah, also coming up, I forgot to mention in the very beginning of the video is we will start on a university in this episode and I totally forgot to mention it. Sorry, apologies, but that will be coming up soon. I'm going to stop talking and I will see you in a few more minutes.
right so we are back over near east river and this is sort of the beginning to our university so when i first built this pedestrian zone i didn't have um i didn't intend for it to be part of the university but once i started it i thought it would look really good to kind of be the focal point of the university so um so it kind of just took that shape as i was creating it so um i really like how this area is shaping up it's it's kind of definitely more of like suburbs for the downtown it's on the far side of the city and um originally i really was wanting the university to be over on the opposite side of the highway like our where our main um entry point into the city is and i ended up doing this as an alternative so um you'll find as the video continues i do keep my um university asset which is like that's what comes with the base game i do keep that going and then um i believe I delete it it'll probably be in the next episode but the reason for that was because I have started on this university on this side of the city I thought I would give people a chance to um, to decide where they were gonna go like if the other university was closest then they could go there but at some point um, if you do have the campus DLC um, it really doesn't make much sense to have both the university that you create versus the university asset because it just takes away from your student population which you need to build up in order for your university to um, to level up so just keeping that in mind you know if you've if you are playing the game and you weren't sure um, how that works so it but it is definitely possible to have multiples it's really you know it, it's up to you but if you are trying to level up you want to make sure that um, you're giving your university every possible chance to get as many students as possible <laughs> so that's my little tidbit on that um yeah so i will say goodbye but i'm gonna come back towards the end of the video uh, and then, um, yeah, I think that will be it. So we are almost done with the video and I hope you guys are enjoying it. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, I really hope you're enjoying these little commentary breaks in between the speed build. I'm trying to do that. Um, it is a little bit harder <laughs> having to go like back and forth. But I do think it does add value to the video and I really appreciate your support. So I'll say goodbye for now and I'll see you at the end of the video.
right guys we are at the end of the video and i just wanted to express my um gratitude uh for your support and your encouragement um i'm really enjoying how kate freedom is turning out and i have high hopes for this the next episode will have um some new assets from the um oh gosh i was gonna say the africa pack and it's not the africa pack but it's the newest content <laughs> pack and i'm super excited to use those new assets i'm going to be placing um some of the new uh, soccer stadiums uh as part of our entertainment district and yeah it's gonna i i already i'm already obsessed with it so um anyway thank you so much for watching I will see you in the next video. Until then, I hope you all have a wonderful evening and um, yeah, I'll see you next time.